Solve cosine squared x plus 2 cosine x plus 1 equals 0 over the interval 0 to pi. Solution. So we have a trigonometric equation and it's equal to 0. So usually what you can do in these cases is try to factor. So you'll notice this cosine squared term here. So if it factors, it's probably going to look like this. So parentheses cosine x, parentheses, parentheses cosine x, parentheses, and this is equal to 0. And the reason is cosine x times cosine x is cosine squared x, right? This means the same thing. This is cosine x quantity squared. Okay, now we just need two numbers that multiply to 1 but add to 2. So in this case, I think it's going to be 1 and 1. And this will be plus and plus. And we can check, right? If you multiply the inside, you just get cosine x. If you multiply the outside, you get cosine x. If you add them up, cosine x plus cosine x is 2 cosine x. And 1 times 1 is 1. So this is the same as saying cosine x plus 1 is equal to 0. Right? You set them both equal to 0, but they're the same, so you just end up with this. And then you solve for cosine x. So cosine x is equal to negative 1. Now you have to think on the unit circle. So when on the unit circle is cosine equal to negative 1? So on the unit circle, every ordered pair can be thought of as an ordered pair of the form cosine theta, sine theta. So you see cosine is the x-coordinate. So the x-coordinate is going to be negative 1 right here, negative 1 comma 0. That's when the x-coordinate is negative 1. And the corresponding angle here is pi. So the answer here is x equals pi. Are there other answers where this is true? Yes, but they're not inside this interval 0 to pi. Right? This is 0, which is the same thing as 2 pi. This is pi over 2, and this is 3 pi over 2. So you would have to go all the way back around the unit circle to get back to negative 1. So um, the only answer in this case is x equals pi. I hope that made sense.